Hey guys, welcome to tip of the day. This is Irene here and this is my video number six on Microsoft Excel uh, tips and tricks and uh, I'm using Office 365. So let's quickly see what are we looking into this. So we are checking, removing duplicates, finding duplicates, finding, removing and duplicates. Uh, if you're wondering why do I have this line even though I have these, uh, you know, removing and finding duplicates here, why do I have this line separately? Well, you'll come to know in just a minute and we'll use the if function from now. All right, so this is my sample sheet. So removing duplicates is pretty easy. All you need to do is, so let's say I have some duplicates in this list here. So you can see here, John James is here and it's repeated here. In fact, Jamie is also repeated here. So if I want to remove the duplicates directly, what I need to do is select those cells, go to this tab which says data and click on remove duplicates it says you want to remove duplicates in column D we'll say ok so it says 3 duplicates found and removed now only we have 12 unique values so this was pretty easy I will just do a undo control C so what if you have a big list like this and Again, you can remove the duplicates by selecting all of these and hitting remove duplicates. But what if the task is not to remove duplicates because when it removes the duplicates, it doesn't tell you what are the duplicates. What if somebody wants to know which are the duplicates? That's when, you know, it gets a little difficult and you need to use some formula to find out the duplicates. So let's say I have another column where it says, is it a duplicate? So we know James here we can do manually but it will take a lot of time. Let's say if this list is like 250 or 500 or whatever. That's why you need to use a formula. So I'm going to use a if formula and as always any formula starts with an equal to sign. I'm going to use an if formula. If we say max count if then I'm going to use this entire cell from where we have to find out duplicates I'm gonna hit a comma and I'm gonna again do a D4 or you can go and select whatever okay and then I'm gonna close this and if this is I'm gonna say if this is greater than one just say this is a duplicate and if it's not greater than one then say not duplicate and it says uh, it says we found a type in the formula try to look at do you want to accept this correction I will say yes so what was I think uh, I closed bracket or something that was a mistake anyway so see quickly it has found out James is is a duplicate entry in this list here and then I double click or drag the formula all the way down so it keeps on checking which are the duplicates and which are not and then what I can do is I can go on this header and hit the filter button do a drop down do a select all take it out and just select which are the duplicates so here it says we have so many duplicates so James John and if I want to count these I just select these if you see here bottom it says 27 duplicates then uh, we have 27 duplicates in this list so if you want to now remove what you can do is just select both of these and delete okay undo the filter so again if you see here we are left with 12 unique values and all of them are not duplicate so once again the formula is this if max count if and the list that you're going to come again the same uh, same selected region greater than one if that's true hit a duplicate or not duplicate if you want I can say if something is found duplicate call it dummy or whatever but anyways we won't have dummies here anymore. Alright guys, so stay tuned for my uh, next video. We will see another, uh, another formula which will help you in your daily work. Thank you.